I wanted to record uh, myself without makeup first and then I'll show you the after result. I have a little bit of acne uh, this week and I want you to thumb it up please if you get, th if you get pimples too because uh, that just means that you are a normal human being. <laughs> so let's see what we have before. Eyes done. Foundation and contour. <laughs> Lips and hair. Now we're all done up and ready to go. <laughs> so today I'm going to um, another interview. It's a radio, a local radio interview. Super excited, but I'm also very nervous because I've, I've had um, a little bit of cough and a sore throat for a couple of weeks. So I've been uh, struggling with um, keeping my soothing voice intact, so to say, so it, to stop it from cracking. Um, scared about that but I hope to do fine and uh, I'm hoping it's gonna turn out well. Ooh, the interview was a lot of success so I'm super excited. I hope to see to hear it soon how it ended up being. Let's have breakfast. For the coffee I use this um, tea brewer. We take our coffee. I like morning roast or I like French. Dark French roast. Put a couple teaspoons, pour water over them, and we wait for 40 seconds, then we'll put the rest of it in there. For the egg, I usually use either real eggs or egg whites. Today I'm going to use egg whites. Spray some olive oil, take our egg whites, and I'm going to pour, that's about right salt, pepper, and cover. So now we're gonna pour the rest of it in there and we're gonna leave it for a couple minutes. For my sandwich I use usually smaller pieces like this of bread and they are from Wegmans and like uh, multi-grain. Mm, you can see some nuts and seeds. I wanted some oats. So that's what I like. Um, I do a very weird thing that maybe not everybody does. Uh, instead of mayo and stuff, I put um, avocado on my bread. So I usually make an incision like this in my avocado. <laughs> Is that weird? <laughs> and I use this as a jar. I just literally, um, like this, just with the butter knife, just take off a layer of avocado and I just press it onto my bread. Okay, so avocado by itself is a little bit, well, it lacks the flavor, so I usually put on top either very strong mustard or straight up horseradish. I think I feel like horseradish today. And I just literally take some and I just put it all over my avocado. Make a slice of tomato. And organize it on the bread so it fits. <laughs> Our egg is doing good. We're going to flip it. Take a piece of cheese and I'm going to try and cut it into pieces so it fits over my bread. <laughs> then I take chicken breast. And I do the same thing. That's good. Perfect. Perfect shape. Look at this. Everything fits in. Just right. <laughs> I have a problem with OCD, so it has to fit. <laughs> then I take my vitamins. I take Woman's Day and hair, skin, and nails. And I believe that it's ready at this point. I have this pretty cup that says, Good morning, sunshine. So I'm going to just press it on the sides. And you can see the coffee draining right through. We're going to pour the rest of the water. We use sugar-free creamers. 
like all types of them. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna pour some in. So then I put a couple of ice. All right. So this is my breakfast. <laughs> Good morning. You know what my trap my problem is? My problem is that I sit at home way too much. I I have been realizing just how much I miss hu human beings. <laughs> Just socializing, just with strangers. They don't have to be my friends. I just want to be with people. And um, I've been missing it so much that I just literally feel like I just want to talk to each and every person that passes me. <laughs> and it's pretty pathetic because you're not supposed to feel that way, right? I mean, some people, and I think it's because I, I stay at home all the time and it's I think a lot of people think that it's a blessing and it's a real struggle. It's very hard. I feel like I'm in a cage most of the time. And it's not because of the people that I'm with, because I, I love my boyfriend, I love my friend. I just never have a chance to talk to people, you know, just see different personalities in my life. I miss being mistreated by strangers <laughs> as well as, um, having good interactions too. I just miss it so much and I have no idea what the hell my problem is. So I'm trying to um, get into all of these uh, different things together, like meetups and um, trying to volunteer. But it, So that's been my struggle. <laughs> What's your struggle, people? <laughs> I know, I'm overspoiled little girl I know I get it it's fine but that's that's what I'm going through right now I and again it's not because I don't have people in my life it's just because I don't have enough of people <laughs> I, and that's horrible to say because the quality of my friends and people in my life are absolutely highest I could ever have imagined it's exactly what I want um, I just feel so lonely still you know and um Sorry, I'm crying. It's not cool, but that's okay. That's what you do. <laughs> so anyway, I was on my way to the gym, but I know that I will never speak to anyone in the gym ever, except for the person who greets people, <laughs> which doesn't count because they don't mean it. Um, I'm going to the bookstore so I can ask questions there so they can talk to me. <laughs> and um, after that, I might go to the grocery store to talk to one of the cashiers how their day was. <laughs> um, that's how pathetic my life has been sometimes and it's not that I'm grateful, I am grateful, I'm just looking for ways to stop it, to fix it. And uh, that's all I can say right now. <laughs> I love this song so much. like trance music? I love, 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 love. Hey guys, so I'm at the Baltimore Washington airport. Um, I decided to try and volunteer for something, so I volunteered to support the troops and <laughs> come meet them at the airport. I'm super excited to do it. <laughs> welcoming of the soldiers. Um, it was super exciting. It was so awesome. I will do it many, many more times. <laughs> so, and I suggest you do that too. <sighs> okay guys, hope you have a good time. See you soon again.